just going to talk to you about the video and the reason and the purpose behind the video. So when we were first conceiving the idea for this video, it was really important for us to uh, not to make a normal conventional type uh, awareness video. Uh, but what we wanted was a video that would have impact and a video that would uh, um, attract the attention of the audience. We took a bit of a risk. Uh, we took a bit of a risk in taking um, elements of real cases involving chemical terrorism and um, weaving these into a cinematic type storytelling um, theme. Something that really tells a story and something that would be impactful, but would main, most importantly would get people thinking. We are, we are believing in the art of storytelling to reach people who might otherwise turn a blind eye on the very reasons that we're trying to tackle uh, who could in, in fact be a part of the solution in mitigating these risks. The video today continues in our intention to establish this series, a series of awareness raising videos on chemical terrorism, mainly on prevention, that inspires to keep us connected to the work that we do and reinforce the, what, the reason why we're here today. We know that the increasing advancement of technology has an, imp an Im impact in the way terrorists or criminals operate. So we try to combine these thoughts uh, through the theme of the video to get people within all societies uh, of the industry to focus on these, these particular uh, uh, threat levels. So to try and prevent possible incidents and to try to think about everything and reducing opportunities for the terrorists. So uh, this is the reason why we're here in the first place, to try to reduce occurrence of this type of attacks by criminals and terrorists. Prevention is the key. It's the key to what we do within law enforcement and is a fundamental part of policing. If we can prevent any incident from occurring, it is a lot better and a lot easier than dealing with the aftermath of an event. Prevention is also the key to the global uh, the, the, the Global Congress and what we're trying to achieve in building relationships within multi-stakeholders uh, by increasing the emphasis on chemical security. This in turn will naturally prevent and make it harder for terrorists and criminals to acquire the necessary material where they need access to, to, uh, to make, make devices or chemical weapons. I think some of you may have already seen our previous award-winning video, the Olympus uh, video, which is really aimed at first responders uh, to try and uh, identify suspicious behaviour and relate to relating to chemical threats. I, I don't mention the the, uh, the award-winning uh, video to pat ourselves on the back. Uh, as most people know me, I'm a very modest man. I don't normally mention this uh, award-winning video, um, so. <laughs> Uh, but I mentioned it because of the recognition, the recognition that the work to increase our awareness of these issues. And that's what really matters. So this video is part of a broader project, a project known as CRIM. I know some of you have been a beneficiary of CRIMS, uh, which helps our member countries to identify, reduce and mitigate the risk posed by weaponized chemicals and their precursors. So very much in line with the core tenets of the Congress Network, and why we decided to launch a video here today. We believe that strategic media and communications tools combine to a holistic approach and help boost up uh, uh, throughout the security throughout the life cycle of a chemical. So these, are, these video comes uh, on a, as a training package. So it's not just a video, it's a training package. We want people to use this training package. It's very, very important for us. It is available, it will be available on our Twitter account, which is uh, under, at Interpol underscore CBRNE. So this video is for use for everyone, so please use it. And if you think it's, uh, it's going to be helpful or impactful for your audience, your, your, your fellow colleagues, that's the reason why we made the video in the first place. Uh, well, but we could have done this, uh, uh, Director Ryan mentioned it, we could have done this without the great work and the support of our donors. So we very, very much appreciate the support of them. Uh, we're very grateful to every, every one of them, and every, uh, including Global Affairs Canada, which was a large uh, supporter and sponsor for the actual production of this video. 
So without further ado, I present you our uh, news and latest video, The Watchmaker. Thank you. قبل ما تخرجوا ما تنسوش تابوناو في لاشين يوتيوب وبارطاجيو الفيديو وديرو جيم وتابعوا الدار على مواقع التواصل الاجتماعي